Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Alvin, general manager here at Retro Fitness. This is the place to get the gains and it's always the place where you're gonna find my boy Promzy. He's the first person I see when I clock in and the last one I see when I clock out. When I tell you this man is disciplined, the man is disciplined. Now let me tell you, you wanna come and join my boy Promzy right here in Retro Fitness in the Bronx is where he's at. Brrrah! Yo guys, what up? on the real man, Charlie, I keep telling you, see in this life, right, no matter what you go through with life, it should rather make you stronger, but you see as humans sometimes we only focus our energy and our mind on the negative aspect of whatever we are going through, but trust me, if only you can channel that mentality into positive way of thinking or even try try as much as you can to look out for the best things in every situation you find yourself trust me you end up being a winner i've been there i've done that three decades in this industry i mean most of y'all kids right now i mean most of you wasn't there by then but look at me you know what because it got to a point, right? I said to myself, you know what, Promzy, no matter what you're doing, what really matters to you? You know, it dawned on me that no matter what it is, I come first. So, let me start taking care of myself because if I tap into my inner strength and I'm solid on my feet, that's the only way God's blessings will pass through me and go to other people because in this life yeah but I say be ye be I'm about say be ye nah but no matter what it is I personally don't want to leave without leaving a statement or without being a blessing in somebody's life if I go continue no banai but we tick off it kadam what could that if you we do got covid Yo, we that the end of Come with me. Yo. It's human soup. The job is a big job, but Charlie, it's all about discipline consistency and hard work Charlie no matter what you're going through in life trust me always remember that those that you started with where are they most people we all started with Charlie plenty of them them die they are nowhere to be found but we are still here do you know why God always have a purpose for us so please like I keep saying don't ever let your past make you bitter. But rather, it should rather make you better. Because you don't need to walk around with hate inside you. It's not good to be walking around with somebody, and somebody did me, let it go, go. Me, at this moment in my life, yeah, let me tell you something. I don't even have a problem with anybody who's ever offended me before. I don't even have a problem with anybody who's betrayed me before. Who said something bad? See, I know a lot of people who said so many things bad about me. But when I'm with them, I act like I don't know. And their own guilty conscience don't even allow them to get closer. Look, forget about it. See, those are the lessons of life. If you don't go through those stages, and if you don't write those exams, you will never pass to the next level. You understand me? And I'm so much grateful. Look, I want to... I want to use this platform to say, guys, I thank you. I don't even know what to say. Because without you guys, there's no... Look, recently, the love that I just got from you guys, in fact, from day one till now, I'm very, very grateful. Thank you guys so much. Without you, there's no me. And trust me, I will never let you down. What prompts is coming our way? Nah, the energy. Nah, y'all know me. I be the energy god. 
when I'm off the stage. So it's over. <laughs> Come back here. Charlie, you go get the money. You go drive the cars. Look, I've driven the cars. I was wearing this grill thing way back. The benches way back. The money, clothes. Come on, man. So my guy, my lady, my sexy lady, it doesn't matter if you have pot belly. It doesn't matter if somebody is laughing at you. It just, what matters is one step. Just be bold. Say to yourself, look, forget about what if, look, whether you do or you no do, people still go talk. You know what I mean? So, your health makes you who you are. Get up on your lazy ass feet and move. Like the way I am moving. <laughs> Yo, what's good, what's good? As you can see, I love my cardio. You understand me? And you know, she see now, dear woman. <laughs> Look, life is the way you make it. And the way you make it is the way you take it. Never try to be in competition with anybody. You should always be in competition with yourself. And the reason why I'm saying this is because there is no replica, promsy replica anywhere. You, there is none of your replicas anywhere. You came on this planet alone. And so shall you go alone. So you see, that kind of situation whereby people are um, in competition. Yeah, it's always good to have a healthy competition. But not the kind of competition that will make you lose your focus. And then out of that, hate will start manifesting. Jealousy will start manifesting. And then evil things will start popping out. You understand me? Always be in competition with yourself. Yo, yesterday... Today should be better than your yesterday. That is all this life is about. We come, we can't they rush. All this with the one money that with your money or then go bury you naked. But me, my purpose is I only respect people who respect others. I respect people who cares about people. I don't know whether some of you you know, but I lost my father, I lost my mom, so I'm more or less like a, how do you call it, a jacamba. <laughs> but it's all good, you understand me? Even if I've lost my mom and my dad, I still know I still, every father is my father, every mother is still my mother. You understand me? But the most important thing in my life right now is God has blessed me to be back on my feet and I want to do a lot in this world. Even if I'm no more, I want to be remembered like the Bob Marley's, the Michael Jackson, the Tupac's, the DMX's, the Fela, the Osibisas, the all of them, mention them. The, uh, uh, how do you call it, my godmother, Brenda Farsi, all of them. You understand me? I look up books because my generation, that's where I grew up on these people. And they were like role models to me. So you understand me? Like, it gets to a point in a man's life. Child after all, what? Give back. You understand me? Give back. I want to help the needy. I want to help those who don't have parents. I want to help the one who don't have a place to sleep. Wherever it is. And like this, like I said, this is part of my life that you've never seen before. This is episode one. Episode two will come. Episode three will come. More is coming. And for all those that are out there who want to do business with us, when I say us, there are people behind the camera. <laughs> come. The door is wide open. But come and let's talk big businesses. You understand me? I love you guys. And I'll continue to love you. Continue to pray for me continue to pray for you guys let's love each other the pull phd pull him down business is getting too much let's abolish it let's love each other let's be honest towards one another let's speak the truth to one another
Oye, tinti se di en krampwa. Ope koto asawada.